Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Edgeley Park. Welcome back to Stockport County. Since you have been away, we have been unbeaten, still beating Carlisle 3 2, drawing 1 all with Cheltenham, and beating Accrington Stanley 1 0, also beating uh, Newport County 2 1 as well. We're back today for more cup games. It seems like all this uh, season has been, has been cup games. The league has been going pretty comfortable considering. Um, Obviously, the step up in quality. Today, we played Notts County in the Papa John's uh, Northern section. We've played them, I believe we played them last season and beat them. Was it this season? It was this season. We beat them 1-0 uh, at home earlier on in the season. This time, oh, we played them at home again. And then we go away to Sunderland in what is a money-spinning tie in the FA Cup second round. Hopefully, we can make the third round of this. We're going to get straight into the two games now. Notts County and Sunderland. And hopefully, we can pick up back-to-back -back victories and make our way further in this cup make some money as well we currently sit on uh, minus 238,000 so hopefully we can make a little bit of money get ourselves back into the black that will make this season completely completely brilliant if we can make some serious money and get the club back on stable footing before we get into the game against Notts County we have the draw um, so only four games in this draw. Blackburn under 23s or Lincoln play Carlisle or Doncaster. Sheffield United under 23s or Shrewsbury play Stockport or Notts County. So we will either play Sheffield United under 23s or Shrewsbury of League One if we get through this game against Notts County. Wigan or Sunderland will play Manchester United under 23s or Scunthorpe. And Newcastle under 23s or Bradford will play Liverpool under 23s or Blackpool. So those are the ties. Like I say, it's. It's not an important game, but I feel like we keep momentum going if we if we pick up a result in this game where we are going to just make the one change here. Roberto Morani is going to play in that centre of midfield. I forget where am I training him, training him as a central midfielder on attack, so we're just going to move them around slightly. So the team is as follows, it's Webb in goal, it's Penrose, Reed. I'm going to give Barkley a game as well, alongside Reed Davis on the right, Abbott in front of them, Hottie and Moran in the midfield, Cavan on the left, Jube on the right, and Bather playing up front. Take McCann off, actually, because he's got a little bit of a knock. And hopefully we can progress in this competition. It's not something that I put great importance in, but the fact that we're doing well and we're winning a lot of games and we're beating teams from higher leagues as well is a reason why... I've been showing a lot of these games. Hopefully, as we pass through Christmas, we can start to concentrate on the league and concentrate on sealing that promotion. But why the cup runs are on, why not? Let's do it. Stockport versus Dots County in the Papa John's Trophy. Ball fired up. And I don't know if Webb or Barkley were going to leave it to one another there. As Barkley now goes into Davis, upfield to do. He goes back into Davis and it goes all the way back to Barkley. Abbott now fires it out to do on the right hand side and just launches it back to the goalkeeper. He looks for Reed under no pressure. Penrose now, plenty of space for him. Into Kavanagh, infield to Hottie. Penrose goes back to Reed. And Penrose now into Kavanagh. Penrose with the ball in. Moran! What a finish from Roberto Moran. Off the underside of the bar. Flag has. No, flag hasn't gone up. I thought the flag had gone up there on the far side. Completely stopped me in my tracks. Reed with the ball. Went to Kavanagh. Back to Penrose. That is a fantastic ball. Moran. Has just found space between the full back and the centre back, and that is a fantastic first time finish. Inside half an hour, it's 1 0. Penrose now comes over halfway, looks up boy towards Bay, the Tucker can head it away. Presley back to Conlon, square to Houghton. He looks for the ball over the top. Connor in behind the defence, can he get the shot away? He does, and Jake Connor makes it 1 0. That is a nice finish. I didn't know whether, I think it was Barkley chasing him, could have put a foot in, maybe even committed the foul, bringing him down outside the box wasn't to be Houghton with the ball over the top Connor picks it up can but maybe he gives away the penalty maybe he can tr try and block the shot he doesn't and we've conceded pretty quickly after going ahead one all here just under 10 minutes left until half time and that's catchy we've only won one game in the league all season back on level terms and looking good here Looking like they might be able to pull a second as Presley with the header flashes it wide off the post. It remains 1 0. We probably need to get into half time here and probably reassess what we're going to do. It is 1 1 at half time. Dube now gets towards the byline, gets across. And that's another weird boy. Is it Penrose into Holt? Oh, he's hit the top of. Oh, 
halted the bar there. I thought we were going to get the goal to go ahead there with about 15 minutes left. Great effort from Daniel Holt. As we go into the final five minutes of the game now, Stockport 1, Notts County 1. Does this go straight to penalties here as well? It'll be our third penalty shootout, I believe it is a penalty shootout. Our third penalty shootout of this season. So Craig Holt's going to step up first. We're going to give Leon Davis the next penalty. Then Kavanagh. Kamika, Roberto Moran, and then we're going to give Penrose and Barkley the next two. Dwayne Bather after that, which strikers your eighth penalty taker, and then we're going to go with Dunwoody, Abbott, and Webb if we go that far. That is our choice of penalty takers. Point the finger. Show the courage of your convictions. Leave no room for regret. We're winners. And let's get into it. First penalty is going to be Notts County. It's going to be Bishop stepping up with his right foot. Scores. Keep going the right way. But it is 1 0 to Notts County. Holt first up for Stockport with his right foot as well. Scores, goes the other way, keeper goes the right way yet again, it's 1-1, one, one. Houghton, who got the assist for the goal with that long ball over the top of the defence, Houghton steps up, scores, same way as the first stop port penalty, not county penalty, sorry, 2-1 here, and it's going to be Davis, steps up, scores, good penalty, probably the best of the four penalties so far, into the bottom corner, clearly into the bottom corner as well, Conlon steps up, left footed, he scores. That's a good penalty as well. 3-2. Kavanagh now to make it three penalties apiece. Can he make it three all? Callum Kavanagh steps up. Scores. 3-3 three, three here. Next up is Everington for Knox County. Everington scores. 4-3. Are any of the keepers going to get close to any of these penalties? As Cammy Kerr, the right fullback, come off the bench today. Steps up. Goes straight down the middle as the keeper flings himself to the right. Four all after four. Now we're down to sudden death. Taylor steps up. Scores 5-4. Simple, you cannot miss now. No room for error as we move into the fifth penalty for Stockport County. Youngster Roberto Moran, who got the goal in normal time. He is going to step up with the opportunity to make it 5 all. Straight at the goalkeeper, we head out of the Poppy John's Trophy, two knots county on penalties. That is very, very disappointing. Not great performances. Back four did a decent job. Reed, Barkley, Dunwoody and Penrose all getting decent numbers. But those strikers, Bather had a really poor game. He's come to me asking for more game time. And after a performance like that, I know knots county the division above. But we need to be doing better than that. We go out of the Papa John's Trophy. That is the second cup competition that we're out of this season. We looks like we're going to be focusing more on the league as we go through Christmas into the new year. It is the FA Cup second round tie away at Sunderland. We have minus £336,000 in the bank. Hopefully we can go a long way to rectifying that today. Team is as follows. It's Webb in goal, Serena, Reed, Barkley and Kerr across the back. Benjamin sat in front of them. McCann and Cover in midfield. Henderson on the left, James on the right, Alexander up front. As full strength probably as we can get with this 11. Let's get into it. It's a big game. Hopefully a chance to make some money. Hopefully a chance to progress to the third round of the FA Cup for the first time. As tough as Sunderland's going to be, it's a winnable tie for us compared to some of the ones we've had in the past. And hopefully we can get the third round, get a big money spinning tie and really set ourselves up for the coming season. And we are underway here. Doesn't look a big crowd. Looks like we took a fair few there in that corner, but doesn't look a massive crowd, which is disappointing. I suppose what we're all we're hoping for really is maybe 15, 20,000. That book is over top. Cover takes it down. It's hit the outside of the post. Great first chance there in the first 30 seconds. And we could really do with an early goal here. Settle the nerves after that defeat on penalties last time. It was ball over the top. Evans is through one on one. <laughs> and after hitting the post after 30 seconds, Jason Evans has given Sunderland the lead inside a minute. What a frantic start to this game it has been. McDonald 
with that ball into Sanders, his ball over the top, Evans in between the two centre backs ran through, great first touch, set himself nicely, and Webb was just a bit too slow to get down. And I think it was 46 seconds after hitting the post before that, it is 1 0 to Sunderland. Free kick here early in the second half as we tick over the first minute of the first half just elapsed. McCann with it got away by Hopewell. I don't know how he's managed to keep that out there. That was a fantastic free kick. It was our first shot on target as well. Sunderland still have only had that one shot on target, the goal in the first minute. So we've really restricted them. We've probably been the better team as Millionaire puts the corner in and headed over. But there was an offside flag up there against Doherty. Oh, what are we going to do here? A corner kick, McCann puts the ball in. Barkley heads over. Not a great header there from Barkley. The thing is, Ois Hutchinson puts this ball in, headed away. Miller can pick it up. The thing is, we're playing so well. You feel like it's coming. As that ball goes through to Miller, gets free. Evans, what a save from point blank range from Webb there. You feel like it's coming. Yeah. Alexander goes back to Abbott, out to the left hand side in Serena. Gets across it. Can Hasty get up? He's hit the bar. Oh, I think that's the woodwork we've struck twice here now. Serena now crosses block. Sanders can get away. Benjamin picks it back up. Infield to McCann. Looks like Boynton Moran. Into cover. Oh, Brandon cover. Flashes it wide of the post. As we go to two minutes of stoppage time here. And we've been beaten by a first minute goal. From Jason Evans, after hitting the post 30 seconds before, and I can't be mad at the t at the boys there. We should all be happy with how we've, you know, with what we've created there. That is unlucky. We're out of both cup competitions in one episode. Now we get to focus on the league for the remaining, for the remaining part of the season. We're going to actually show one more game. We've got 3.1k for that. Let's have a look. Is there a... What was the attendance? Why did I click that button for? Right, what was the attendance? 12,628, so not a great deal. We've made 100,000, so we're back to 235,000 in the red. It'd be nice for them to have a, maybe 20,000, get a little bit more money, maybe uh, break that 200,000 pound mark. Not to be... We're going to show one more game. We're going to show the Cambridge game. We haven't won yet in this episode. Back-to-back -back defeats. I know that was a penalty defeat. But back-to-back -back defeats is not what we want. Cambridge are third. Four points behind us. We've got two games in hand on them still. So we're going to show that game before we end this episode. Final game of the episode. It's a away game at Cambridge. Second versus third. The team is as follows. It's Webb, Serena, Reed, Barkley and Benjamin. Abbott in front of them. Penrose and Hotty playing in midfield. Penrose moving forward into that midfield role. He's played it a couple of times so far this season. Cover on the left. James on the right. Alexander up front. We need to turn this around. We need to get some goals. We need to put in... I say we need to put in bad performance. We've actually turned in some decent performances in this episode. Against League One, Notts County and top of the table, Sunderland. It's not to be on the wrong end of the results. So let's get into it. Away at Cambridge. Big game because we can pull away from third place and we can really start to cement our spot in the automatic places if we can beat Cambridge today. Lumley now. Out to Tommy. Barry. Can they get the cross in? Eldor. Arcadina. Getting towards the byline. He gets the cross in. Lumley gets up, headed away from him. James can collect it. Looks forward but only smashes it. To no one there, and Elise can square it into Hagen. Hagen into Barry now. Gets past his man into Tommy. Out to Akadina on the right hand side. He'll have another chance for a cross here. Can we hold him up? Goes in field to Tommy. Ball in Lumley with the header. Riley Lumley makes it 1 0 just inside 20 minutes. And this episode is not going to plan here today for us. We are 1 0 down in 20 minutes. And this could make, if you include the penalty defeat, this could make three defeats on the trot. We have done nothing. In this first 22 minutes or so, been all Cambridge here at the Abbey Stadium. As James is tackled by Williamson and List can bring it away in the left fullback position. Azaz forward to White, fired into Lumley. He goes back to White. They're just they're playing us at our own game and absolutely smashing us. Lumley now gets past his man, hits the shot. I think that hit the outside of the post there. Where was rooted to the spot. We've been a little bit better since that break, but not much. As Hotty now will take this free kick, go short into James, back to Hotty. And that is a waste, as we had to go back to the centre backs. Serena and Benjamin 
amongst themselves into Barkley. Hearty now. There needs to be a ball in field. There's not. We're under a little bit of pressure here. James looks at switchboard. Penrose down to Alexander. Through to cover. Is he on side? He isn't. And Brandon Carver finishing like he should have done in the game against Sunderland when he had that chance late on. Great play though, better from us. Penrose to Alexander, cover just went a fraction too early. Good first touch, good finish, beating the keeper at the near post, but it's not to be as Barkley launches this in here. Hottie goes down off the ball and it's a penalty kick. That ball was just heading out of play for a goal kick. Hottie was pushed over, will take the penalty. Alexander will step up, saved by Hine. And penalties are coming back to haunt us here in this episode as we miss another one. As Carlisle have gone 3 0 up in their game, I don't know if I think that keeps them in fourth place. <sighs> what can we do here? But we have come back into it. This puts Cambridge within a point of us. Carlisle winning also brings it within three points of us it closes the gap massively as cover cuts that out there into alexander goes back to sereno penrose now into cover sereno nice little triangular passes abbott goes all the way back to reed he's born tardy with a bit of space through to alexander tends to redeem himself thinks of the goal pa and hagen clears it off the line what more can you do at this point Cover scores that offside goal where we were in a fraction too early. Alexander misses the penalty. He then looks to redeem himself with a great little chip over the goalkeeper. Hagen fantastically getting the ball off the line. Ball through for Mag. Oh, he's hit the outside of the post and somehow the ball has not ended up in the net. It's gone out for a corner kick on the near side. Real goal mouth scramble there. As that ball goes in, headed wide. So just as we make changes... Penrose has gone off with an injury literally a minute after making the changes. So in the final 15 minutes here, still 1-0, we're down to 10 men. Reed now brings out the box, looks forward for Kavanagh. Gets the flick on. Alexander's going to get there first. Inside left channel. Is there a ball in the box room? Gets across. Davis and Hyam with a great save down to his left. Davis probably should score there. He doesn't. Eight minutes left. I don't think that's the highlight either, but Barkley wins that header. Benjamin intercepts the pass. Moran into Alexander. Looks back from Moran, snuffed out, but they win it back. Hotty into Davis now, who had that great chance a minute or two back. He's looking to get the cross in, does get the cross in, cleared away. Williamson will look forward. Barkley wins ahead of though. Moran into Kavanagh. Back to Moran. Abbott through for Kavanagh. Into Alexander, who fires in. Flag stays down. One all. Great time to score. Seven and a half minutes left on the clock plus stoppage time. What a great time to get the equaliser. That was well worked as well. We've looked a lot better in the second half. Kavanagh into Moran, into Abbott, back to Kavanagh, into the box. Alexander drifted between the two centre backs and has a good finish past the goalkeeper. One all, seven and a half minutes to play. So five minutes of stoppage time, corner kick here. Tommy puts the ball in, white with the header over the bar. It looks as if we might get out of this with a draw, especially after going down to 10 men with Penrose going off injured. Although Tommy puts the ball in, Williamson, he looked offside, he is offside flag, went up straight away. Quickest I've seen it go up for an offside in this game. Under a minute left, I don't think this is going to be a major highlight as that ball is fired up. Williamson can header it down. List infield to White. Little 1-2. List over there on the far side. Back into Ironton. Into Barry. Benjamin cuts that out. Looks forward. And Elise can pick it up. Into Williamson. White again. 20 seconds left on the clock as we just once again fire it upfield. Straight back into Cambridge's hands. That ball goes in. Barkley heads it down. Davis now. He fires it long. Alexander gets there first this time. He'll be... Forced out to the right hand side. Can he get the cross in? Pulls it back for Davis. There is the final whistle. That disallowed goal being shown there. It is a one all draw here in the league away at Cambridge. Slightly better second half performance after a really, really poor first half from us. Alexander missing that penalty. Penrose going off injured. Everything sort of went against us there. Alexander getting a 7.8 despite the penalty miss. Shows that he did have a very good game. League table looks like this. Seven points behind Sunderland with two games in hand over them. Two games in hand over Carlisle, who moved into third place after us drawing with Cambridge, knocked them down a spot. Four points clear of fourth. Seven points behind first. Two games in hand over all of them. Good chance to really cement our place. We haven't won in this episode. We really need to turn it around in the coming games. Hopefully get a few results, get a few more points on the board and really bridge this gap in 
the next uh, the next month or so. So 14 unbeaten in the league now. So after an episode where we have not won in the three games, we're still unbeaten in 14 in the league. We're going to play through the rest of December, probably some of January. I'm not sure exactly when we're going to come back. There's no toys really that jump off the page and they're interesting to me. Maybe come back in February for sort of Doncaster, Bolton, Bristol Rovers, who 16th at the minute, but currently in the headlines after that 7-0 victory on the last day of the League 2 season. Probably come back around then. Uh, don't want to show Sunderland again. That's a little bit too soon for my liking. We don't want to spend too long doing the season. We spent long enough going through these little cup runs that we've had. Maybe come back around the Mansfield-Chesterfield game. Again, mid-table sides, not really taking my fancy as big games to come back for. But we're we'll back around sometime around February. We're going to play through a bulk of games now get into the season anything interesting does occur we'll come back to you then but if you've liked what you've seen today please leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time where hopefully we can have one foot in league one